So our family's been in this facility since 1964. And as you can see, it's a really very small facility. We don't have a lot of palletizing room. Automation has been our biggest challenge because we don't have a lot of overhead space. We don't have a lot of floor space. I was kind of a naysayer because I know what's available out there in the industry. And the robot that can handle the 52 and a half pounds, uh, those are obviously pretty limited. When he brought us in here, he was going on and on about how he couldn't put palletizers in here. And I'm like, Dean, the world's changed. There's so much more out there with cobots and off-the-shelf tooling. Before, you always had to make your own custom tooling and you hoped that it worked. Now I can go to OnRobot and get a tool that I know has been tested and warranty and in a warehouse that I can have instantly if I need it. My favorite thing about OnRobot tooling is absolutely the adaptability and the customizability of them. The reason that I used two of OnRobot tools versus the traditional one was the 50 pound case was just slightly above the limit of one tool's capability. With the customizability of the two FPG tooling, we were able to get both finger grippers underneath the edge of the box with 40 nanometers of force, compress that box, and deliver it gently and quickly. So the reason I chose the Fanix CR35IB is because it's a truly industrialized cobotic robot. It brought the horsepower required to do 50 pound cases that a, up till now a traditional cobody couldn't touch. By syncing them up together, we got a single tool that is off the shelf ready, tried and true tested, and will literally do the job over and over and over again without any interruptions. All the other uh, robots that we had seen that did some, something similar to this had the vacuums uh, on the top, so it would pull the, the box by the top. Well, obviously with a two-piece box, that doesn't work, so that was one of our biggest obstacles to overcome. The grip ramp is really what made the whole system come together because it was crucial to keep two-piece box together, be able to pick it up and place it. That is the only reason why this all worked for us, and that's to John's credit and to Robot for being able to collaborate and make that happen. One of the biggest challenges that we were having when we were trying to automate our different parts of the building uh, because of our size constraints was finding a robot that was actually small enough to fit in the spot. If you have to put a cage around it, it makes the footprint so much bigger. Now that we put this in, it seems like we're using less space than when we had a person in that spot. The more traditional systems are, are a lot more expensive. They take up a ton of space and they take up a lot of money too. This system is about a third of price as, uh, as the, more, the more traditional systems. It's so much more cost-effective in our way, so much better than any other options that were out there. Dean's long-term plan is a fully deployable automation plan. We started out with one robotic palletizer. We are going to move him to another robotic palletizer. We're helping him set up any kind of automation that he needs to use using Fanuc and OnRobot. One of our biggest challenges absolutely is labor, especially on the palletizing line in particular. Right now, the robot stacks two sizes, two pallets, two different sizes, and the four other employees, they stack the other four sizes. If we had three robots and one employee operating all three robots, that would be a really game changer for us. We could absolutely cut our workforce in half right here if we have to. No, that's not my goal. It's just it's as people retire and as things change, I just need to have options. And this is definitely a huge part of having options going forward. Fortunately, with, with the Fanuc and the on-robot attachment, uh, we have found something that's really worked well for us. To have on-robot standing behind it, it's very important to have someone that you know has got your back.